Hey everybody, I'm gonna tell you today why you should still be booking travel. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Haley with HaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and you can follow me on social right here. Today we're gonna to be talking about why you should still be booking travel. I know, <laughs> it sounds ludicrous, it sounds crazy, but you need to hear me out though. I promise it's good. So one of the benefits to booking travel right now is that you have the most flexible cancellation policies like in history. You know, hotels in recent years like Marriott have crept up to having their cancellation policy be 48 hours before instead of 24 hours before. Back in the day, cancellation used to be same day for a lot of hotel brands, like 4 p.m. same day of, which I can get into a <laughs> probably a really big explanation as to why hotels do that now, but regardless for the customer, that was a little less flexibility. So even airlines are being flexible, which I think they're usually the strictest on cancellation policies. Right now, if you're gonna change your flight, there's no change fees. You can get your miles back if you booked a mileage ticket without any penalty. So I mean, other than maybe being out your money for a little bit, like what do you have to lose? If you have that luxury, that's why you should be booking. I actually just purchased uh, plane tickets for a trip that I'm trying to throw together. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm hoping that this will, but I planned a 12 day trip to Europe in November over Thanksgiving to do some European Christmas markets with my family. The price was right. I had more than enough miles because I, you know, I was getting a little grouchy because I had so many airline credits, so many miles, and I was just itching to use them. And I've been dying to do Christmas markets in Europe. I don't know if we'll get there, but there were flights for 44,000 miles round trip out of New York and I use Google Flights for that. If you're curious about how to use Google Flights, I actually have a tutorial on my Patreon page for my Patreon. So if you're interested in that, I encourage you to check that out. I've saved so much money traveling that way. The other reason I think that you should book travel if you can still is to have something to look forward to. We went through such a tough year last year. I mean, and I realize that's part of, you know, my grumpiness and my issues is, you know, not having a trip planned gave me nothing to look forward to. And I think with the vaccine rolling out, you know, and even the options to do little staycations in your local area if you're in, not in a high COVID spot, I mean, give yourself something to look forward to. You deserve it. <laughs> you highly deserve it. And honestly, a lot of hotels are pricing themselves a little bit more consciously, except for high demand dates. Hotels are still pricing normal for those. So you can get some really great deals out there. If you watch that tour and vlog that I did from last week from Niagara Falls, I got a fantastic price through my Marriott membership rate, my Marriott Bonvoy. So there's deals to be had. I highly encourage you guys taking a peek and looking at that. Next week, I'm gonna show you guys a video on how I pack if I fly on a budget ticket. It doesn't happen as much these days, but for those of you that have been with me a while, you know that I've flown Frontier in Spirit, and to those of you that are new, you know that now. <laughs> um, and I've actually flown on just the basic ticket with the personal item. I had these bags that I use that are, you know, under the seat regulated for size that I have gone on five day, even up to week long trips with. So I'm going to show you how I pack those kind of bags to save you money because, you know, if you're going to do a direct flight with one of those brands, I never had a problem with it. I've flown Frontier a bunch now. I have flown Spirit a couple times. I've personally never had an issue. You just have to know what to expect. So make sure you guys follow along. That will get posted next week. And I will be back posting here every Wednesday. I know this is a short one, but I wanted to let you guys know from somebody that works in the hotel industry and the travel industry and has for 14 years, it would really, really help us out. And I think it would really help you out if you were still booking and looking because I I'll be completely honest, we are looking at a situation where most hotels that shut down, there's a good chance that 30% of them are not gonna reopen. And I mean, 
I know that people like to say, oh, well, it's COVID. People shouldn't be traveling at all. I'm a big advocate for the staycation and there are ways to do things safely. I mean, if you think about it, you go to the grocery store. What are the chances that somebody at the grocery store is wiping down every single thing that you touch? It's not happening. Who's wiping down all the produce every time somebody walks by? It? It's not happening. Um, so I say that because this is an industry that employs millions and millions of people. Their jobs, you know, depend on it. And if you book something for the future that helps out, you know, that front desk agent at the hotel that helps out that housekeeper. It's not just the big wigs, but it helps. It helps out little individual hotels that are locally owned and franchised. So just wanted to share that with all of you. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you have any future travel planned for this year, I would love to know what you guys have booked. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you next time. Bye.